from Strike Zone at Sunset Station here for the Girls Scratch TPC title match. Featuring Piper Chalmers, the number two seed, going up against top seed Corinne Marquez. There she is over here. Piper's going to be shooting in the fifth frame. And as it stands, she's got a lot of pins to make up. She's trailing by 37, but does have a strike working. That's her scoreboard error. There's Corinne's scoreboard on the left. So big shot here in the middle of the match to try and climb back in it. I guess that's the last note. Copy. Yeah, that's the right. Good shot. Tempa doesn't stand. Actually, the Tempa doesn't fall. It does stand, but now it doesn't anymore. She covers up that spare. Twenty-seven pin deficit as I re-add that addition. Then a long, long, but really exciting weekend. Fifteen games of competition. Piper has already dispatched a Madison Coleman in the first game of this two-game girl scratch step ladder. This is the fourth pattern that they've rolled on. Pretty short pattern one, pretty long pattern two, pretty playable pattern three. This on paper is the toughest of the four patterns. These are a lot of talented bowlers. Showing off their stuff. A second straight challenge on this right hand lane. She opened with the front three as you saw, but then washed out in the fourth, could not convert. Now that tricky little 310 back over there. Pretty flat pattern. That means that she's not going to get any help from the lanes on making this split. She's just got to do it with accuracy. Switches to a ball that doesn't hook a lot, but catches too much of that three, and she is open in the fourth and sixth. And we got ourselves a match, 113 through six for Marquez. Keep it up. Keep it up. Now only a 15 pin difference, and Piper again is gonna have a strike working when she comes up in her next shot. The biggest of thanks to Jerry and his team for hosting us. 72 lane center, they could probably do with a 372 lanes here and there all the time and we packed out their building as well so great stuff Let's see who takes home the $400 first place scholarship prize here high again but high enough but doesn't get the nine out of that Brooklyn much more makeable spare obviously you gotta make those single pins and step letter matches very hard to get a nine dash and win a stretch game. No problem with the nine, maintains that 15 pin advantage. Getting towards the second half of the game, seventh frame, pretty late here. Not gonna get much better opportunity than this. However, has not struck this game on this lane. Very big shot. Close. Ah, shreds the rack on the right hit. Saws that five over into the seven, catches the double, and we got a five-pin game. And from a 37-pin early deficit, Chalmers can take the lead here in the eighth. She can get one more. To the right, the stretch. 
and the handicap divisions are bowling six games of additional match play to get them to 21 total games to get to the step ladder. You earn our most prestigious title. Close again. You bet. Can't be any closer. Dead flush in the one three strikes in the seventh and eighth, and the lead has flipped. Marquez can respond to the Chalmers double. Well, she does with a runaway Brooklyn. It's an X on the screen. She'll take it. My goodness. She will have to finish on that lane, and if she needs the hit, it's going to lead to some confusion. You've now got to decide if you're Corinne, if she threw that ball poorly, or if the lanes were changing on her. There are some from A, some from B. So it is uh, quite possible that she's going to need a strike or a mark or something like that when she steps back up in that lane. A lot of that depends on what she does here in the ninth. And that's better, and she gets that tip in. Piper comes up with the giant double, and Marquez responds with one of her own. Talented ladies, they want this title. 223 is Marquez's max. Chalmers can strike out for 228, so she can actually win this match before Corinne gets another chance, which is saying something from the hole that she was in. However, if she doesn't strike in this shot, she trails in the match. All comes down to the ninth and tenth. Oh, no. And the last thing you wanted was a giant wide open split. Two out would be 163, which gives her a 193 max. That would still make Corinne Mark. So all is not lost. But that is a uh, big old ouchie. Makeable split though. Better than a big four or something like that. Four six. To the side. Close. Really close. Did not miss by much. All right, 20 pins in the 10th here is not gonna be enough. That would be 183. All three in the 10th for 193, like we said, and Corinne with nine out for 190. So a double still makes Marquez mark. Anything less, Corinne is likely gonna win. No. no. Over adjustment on that one. You saw that shoulder never squared back up. Not enough rotation to get it back. It's a washout. It's a frowny face. It's an outstanding runner up finish, is what it also is. But we know how good uh, bowlers or any competitive athlete takes second place in anything. Second best, and you feel like you finished dead last. How it is. She might make this just for show. Yeah, it does. Keep Marquez on us, she'll just need pins. Piper's still in the U17 category as well, so well, Corinna College girls, so this is great experience for Charles. She's got plenty more years to be back. I'll do this again. Nothing wrong with 182. This is a hard, hard pattern. Marquez started strong and looks like she's gonna finish strong. Move to the left. Side of the side. 
Let her finish up. No. One of the few that are uh, wrapping up their JBT career. He's aging out. Matatron is aging out. Oh, no, do your thing, whatever you need. Well, might as well get one more Brooklyn. Good enough. Just needed pins, stays behind the line and wins it all. OUAZ, Ottawa is going to take a major JBT win. I know Coach Bowen is going to be very happy about that. Consequential, more than enough, she'll be in the two tens. This is her fourth girl scratch win of the season. Piper had five up in the Northwest to earn a Bowler of the Year in that conference. Corinne wasn't a Bowler of the Year, but she doesn't care now because she is a TPC champion with this one. job from them. High 10 from Aiden. We got a lot more great finishes in store, I am sure, in all the other divisions. Stick you for that.